as I'm inside Paragon, let's come in and do the quick CMA first. To do the quick CMA, as I mentioned in the PowerPoint, you want to do this based on a search. So I'm going to come out, click on residential, and please note that when you're doing a CMA, it's also available for rural, mobile, and commercial. And that may be something new to you. Just know that inside Paragon, all the tools I'm going to show you are available in each of the different property classes available to you. So I'm going to come up, just do a left mouse click on residential. If you're using a tablet, it's just a tap on that particular item that you want to do. As we open up, notice we have a search criteria screen. And what we would ask you to do is put in criteria into the search criteria screen that would help you find the properties that you're looking for. So as an example, right here at the top, my cursor is in the field that says property class. If I type in an S into the field, notice it gives me single family. With that being called out, I can hit enter, comma, or tab, or do a left mouse click on that particular value and add that to that particular field. And as I do that, you're going to see that my count here in the upper right hand corner is going to change. Now, because we're doing a CMA, I want more than active. If you want to add multiple values to a particular field, the easiest and quickest way to do that is to click on the magnifying glass you'll find on the right hand side. And so I do want to have my active, I do want my sold, and I also want my pending properties. So having made those selections, I click on Save. Those values drop in, and now we're up about 352,000 listings. Maybe a little much, and one of the reasons why we have such a large count is that when the history that has been brought into Paragon from ML Exchange and Fusion, we go back many, many years for you. Now, in order to have properties that are... Uh, reasonable for right now in today's market, instead of going back to the beginning of time, I recommend you use the off-market date to control when those sold properties have come off market or pending properties have come off market. Now I can put my cursor into the field and put in the two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. Or I can click on the calendar tool and by clicking on the month button on the left hand side, I could move back as many months as I want. And once I get to the month I want, just click on the day of the month and that value drops in. Now there's a quicker and easier way to do that. By coming over to date range, I can move down and say, I want to just go back six months, let's say. Notice my options. I had as far back as 24 months. I could be back just as far as seven days. So it really depends upon what your market is. And I'm going to choose six months. And with that in, I could continue adding different criteria to find the properties I'm looking for. Well, as I continue on down, I could put in the city, the zone, the community. I could even put in condo name if I were looking for condos. Again, if there's fields that I've got that you don't, they've come because I've used customization. As you're looking at finding properties that match your subject properties, so as you're finding those comparable properties, if there's fields that you need, again, hover over customize, come down to fields, and then you can add the fields you're looking for. Well, let me just come down and choose a couple other things that I'm looking for. When it comes to uh, bedrooms, I want to have at least four bedrooms. If I had more, that would be great, but let's say four bedrooms, and I could be very specific. Now, as I've worked with many CMA tools, a lot of times if you had, let's say, a four-bedroom home, they give you a plus or minus factor. So maybe if I'm looking for a four-bedroom home, in order to have enough comparable properties, I may be plus or minus one bedroom. So instead of putting in a four, I put in three to five. That way I'll have four bedrooms, but also gives me a little more range to find additional um, properties that have the that would be good comparables for me. Now, maybe I need to have at least three full baths. Type in the three baths, full baths. But again, if my subject is two, uh, three, I might want to do two to, let's say, four. Again, plus or minus one. I may say that I need to have at least three bathrooms. And so by leaving three as my minimum size, then I'm looking for a minimum of three bathrooms and leave my open-end area uh, uh, available. Now, if you notice, I didn't do anything with half baths. That way, if there are half baths, they can factor in. But I would accept a home that has three uh, full baths or four, four full baths when it comes to my comparables. Again, I can come through, add additional criteria that I'm looking for. But what I want to do now is I want to go out and do a map search. And as I do my map search, I'm going to click on the globe, and that's going to bring me out to my map. I love doing mapping inside Paragon because it allows me to have a starting point and find properties in a particular neighborhood. Now, I happen to know that the property I'm wanting to list is at this particular address.
So let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and spell that out correctly and put in the postal code. And I just click on the magnifying glass and notice how my flag has now moved to where that particular area is. And with my subject property identified, I can now draw shapes inside Paragon to help me bring back properties that match where my subject property is at. So I can pull it right from the neighborhood. So let me just come through. Let's see how many comps I have by coming back. And by clicking on the red X, it's now going to pull back comps for me. As you look over here on the right-hand side, I've got six. As I'm looking at that, it looks like I only have one active property and a lot of solds, so that may not be an adequate enough uh, solution for me. So let me go ahead and draw an additional shape. Again, I'm going to use the polygon, and let me just come down a little bit further south. Again, I can follow along any area I want, so if I need to expand my coverage area, I can do that. Just going to kind of parallel, again, click. And now I have 39 comparable properties. You can work and see exactly how many that you want to have, but I'm just going to go ahead and use these 39. And with those 39 in place, I can, if I want, go back to my criteria and do some more refining to give me the better set of comps that I'm looking for. Or if I want, I can just click on search. And from the map, I could have clicked on that right-hand button and gone out and seen my results also. Now, as I'm looking at my results, I've got all of my actives based on how I have my spreadsheet sorted. I have all my actives, then I have all of my solds grouped together. And so at this point, I'm ready to now choose the pro uh, particular uh, properties I want to actually use as my comparable properties. So I'm going to check the box here in the upper left-hand corner. So I've selected all the properties. And now as I'm working through, I can find exactly the kinds of properties I want to have. There may be some that are too inexpensive, does not have a high enough property value for them. But as I move on down, I may also find some properties that may be more expensive than what I want to have. So again, I can come through and remove any of those properties that do not fit my criteria. And I can do that for my actives and for my uh, sold properties. And as I'm looking at, I can also be looking at bedrooms. I can be looking at baths to make sure I've got exactly what I'm looking for. So let me just come through and choose the particular properties, or de in this case, deselect properties that in this case are uh, out of my price range. And with those selected, notice the checkbox here in the upper left-hand corner. Right now, I'm working with 39 properties. And by using the check button, I'm now looking at those properties that are just selected. So I'm looking at 19 of the 39 properties that came back as my comps. So the nice thing about using the quick CMA is I can now come in and go for my super list and come up with my exact list of comparable properties. Now comes time to choose the reports that we want to use. And so if you're taking notes, what I'd like you to take note on is that I've done a search to find the uh, properties I'm looking for. So I've done put in search criteria. I've clicked on the search button. And then by doing a quick look at the properties here on the spreadsheet or by coming over and looking at different property reports, maybe I've used the agent detail report, I was able to go through and find the different properties I wanted. And because I checked all the properties initially, if there's a property I did not want, I could just uncheck the boxes of reviewing the properties and come up with my final set of comps by clicking on Show Checked. And so what I've done, again, step one is to do my search. Step two is to look at my results and find the exact comps I want. Now, for step three, I want you to put your pen and paper down for just a moment. I want to show you the different reports I would utilize. And then once I've done showcase the property reports I would use, flyers or brochures, I'll then, uh, again, give you step three. Over here on the right-hand side, we have reports. And as we're looking at reports, one of the reports I like is down here underneath the CMA. It's called the CMA Quick View. I like the CMA Quick View because it gives me three, four properties sitting side by side. Now, the list of fields that are coming down the left-hand side, those are customizable by me. By coming up to Customize in Fields, I can put in those important fields that I want to have in order to differentiate these properties one from another. So as you can see, I've got here status. I've also got that it's residential, single family, the region, the price. Then I've got address, postal code, I got master bedroom level, 
that have bedrooms, baths, uh, full baths, half baths. I could also have in there floor area, other things that would help me review these properties. And as I'm looking at these pictures, I can step through looking at each of the different properties to, again, verify that, yes, these are good comparable properties. If I have a question about a particular listing's pictures, I can just go ahead and do a left mouse click or with a tablet, just do a tap on it. And now I have a larger view of those pictures. Because I'm an agent inside Paragon, I could use the slideshow and let that automatically work through. That way I could just look and verify, are these things that I want to be looking at? If I do want to stop the slideshow, I can do that. Again, I can step through, either using the film strip or the embedded arrows, and walk through the different pictures. When I'm done, I can continue on. But this is one property report that I like. And there are five pages, and so by clicking on the page buttons here in the right-hand side of my top, I can step through, see each of these different pages of properties, verifying that, yes, these are good comparable properties. So one report that I would use is the CMA Quick View. Moving back over to reports, I'm going to stay in the summary area, or in CMA area, I'm going to choose CMA Summary. By choosing that, I now have a property report that is customizable. This is designed to be horizontal, and although I've got some fields here, I can customize up to 10 personally customized fields if I want. And those 10 fields, again, allow me to differentiate these different properties. Now, I would uh, customize the report based on each of the statuses. So if I've got my active properties, I would choose up to 10 customizable fields. As I'm looking at my sold properties or my pending properties, I could change which fields I'm utilizing as I'm looking at each of those different statuses. Now, one of the nice things about this particular report, is let me slide over back to the left-hand side, is notice that for the numeric fields, Paragon gives you the average, minimum, maximum, and median. This becomes important information for you as you're uh, looking at recommending a listed price because you then have the idea of what is the average, the min, the max, and the median to help you find the right value sets you need to communicate to your seller. Also note that we're showing you that there are seven properties inside the actives. As I move on down, notice I have 12 properties that are a part of my sold properties. And if I had pended properties, they'd be here just below that. Now, embedded in a part of this report are these statistics. Yes, I have statistics across the very top right underneath my toolbar, but those aren't a part of the any property report inside Paragon. But inside the CMA summary, notice underneath the title, we have the same statistics. We have high price, low price, average price, median price for both the listing price and the selling price of the property. And this is based on all the properties, all 19 properties that we have inside this particular set of comps. And so this would re be report two that I would use. Another report I like is found down underneath reports. As I'm looking down underneath the reports, the report I like is the sold price. I'm going to do a left mouse click on that. And as I'm looking at this, I'm now looking at just the sold properties. And notice that Paragon has given me some breakouts. It's residential single family in Edmonton. And with that, I'm now displayed the MLS number, the listing ID number, the address, original price, sold price, percentage of selling price to original price, and days on market. And this then gives you a great opportunity to come through and talk about right pricing. Look at this one particular property right here. Apparently, it was not right priced because the selling price is less than 50% of the listing price, original listing price. So this is where you could come through and say, yes, you may have ideas on proceeds and how you're going to use them, like putting kids into college, you know, going on vacation, getting a new vehicle, plus upgrading your home, you know, buying a different home. But again, this gives you an idea of that we have to be realistic when it comes to those pricing. Now, for these 12 properties that are part of my sold properties, notice it's given me an average and then a total for all 12. So again, this gives me a lot of good information about these particular properties. So that's report three that I would utilize. There's a fourth report that I like, and it's called the Bing Map. Using the Bing map, this will now display all of those properties on the map. That way you can confirm to your seller that, yes, these properties came from their neighborhood. You didn't go all over town, all over the province, trying to find comparable properties. These are their neighbors. And so this would be the fourth report that I would use. Now, as you look at all the different reports that are available to you, both in the detail reports that are one property per page, 
or the multi-ups that have multiple properties per page, along with some of the other ones like the CMA and reports, you can pick and choose which particular reports you would like to use. For me, these are the four reports that I like to use for my quick CMA. Okay, so having showcased the different reports I want to do, go ahead and pick up your pen. If you're taking notes, step three is to come over to print. By coming over to print, I always use print plus unless I'm using a spreadsheet, printing a spreadsheet. Then I use print. But for everything else, I use print plus. And let me do a left mouse click on that and bring it up. Now, because I'm in print uh, on the Bing map, Paragon thinks I want to print it, and I do. What I want to come up with is uh, tell Paragon what, pay, um, what properties do I want to use. So starting in the upper left-hand corner, I want to use the selected 19. Now, if I had clicked uh, the button All, then I would have uh, 39 properties. And Paragon would say, do I want to use the selected 19? Do I want to use all 39? The last one I clicked on or the current page. I said I want to use all 19 properties. And I also want my output to be in PDF. By leaving it in PDF or making sure that it's in PDF, a one-page report prints out on one page, and that's really important. Plus, as you're looking at like the comments and all, they don't spill out outside the confines of that particular area or that particular property report. Now, there's other reports I wanted to use, so let me just slide down. I want to find the other reports I wanted to use. So I'm going to get down into the CMA area, and I want to use the CMA Quick View, the CMA Summary, and I also want to use the sold price report. So having selected those three, I click on the Add button. And then I'm just going to take the Bing map and move it down. That way these reports are now in the order that I want to present them. I want to show my seller all the properties on the four of where you have four properties side by side using the CMA Quick View. And once they've had a chance to look at those properties, I want to then roll into the CMA summary so they can see the properties grouped according to statuses and some statistics. I then like the sold price report because I can then show them here's what's happened for properties that have sold. And I think I used six months back and then a map to show that everything's all good. So with those reports selected, I click on print preview. And by doing print preview, Paragon's now going to go out and generate each of those different reports based on the selected 19 properties. And it'll only take a minute or two to convert all those properties and reports into PDF documents. And once they're converted, they'll then display on the screen, as you can see right now. Now, because I uh, use my uh, computer and have different programs set up, I'm actually in uh, a, an Adobe Reader uh, format. You'd probably be still in your browser, be it uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Edge. And you're going to find the print tools along the top, right-hand side, top left-hand side, or maybe down across the bottom. But this allows you to come through and verify, are these the property reports that I wanted to be printing out, and are these the reports? And so. As you look down through these different reports, here's our CMA summary. And there's our, uh, our sold price report. And then here's the map. And notice that the map lays out just a little bit differently. And all the properties are listed down below inside a grid. So having looked at those and verified them, I can then say, yes, this is what I want, and go ahead and print it. However, if you've got the wrong report selected, just click on back. Come back out, take out the wrong report, put in the right report, and we're ready to go. And so you can see, you could actually do a quick CMA. In about 10 minutes, you're ready to print that information. It's taken me a little bit longer because I wanted to showcase for you the different reports I would use. And so you would do your search, put in the criteria that you want, click on the search button, and then as you're looking at the results, and be it out here from your spreadsheet, as I have, or using, let's say, the agent detail or client detail, you can go through and vet and make sure you've got the right properties. And then once you've got your comparable property, just move over to print and you're ready to go. So again, in about 10 minutes, you can go ahead and do, I have uh, uh, properties and reports to print out for that quick CMA. And this becomes really good. So if all of a sudden you've got someone that says, hey, can you come tonight? You may have other things scheduled, and this would be a quick way to go ahead and create that CMA that you want to present to your client.